Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Nero here. It's been a long time since I last challenged the peaks of time. Maybe it's been around 4 months or so. And um, this is actually the first time that I'm going to clear the Savage Waste. I have visited this map before, but um, I only cleared like the first three um, opponents and then I quit <laughs> anyways um, I think I'll be able to uh, clear this without any problem since I think my team is currently overpowered all right so the first enemy is down I'll take the coral vow that's good for my uh, light bearer team All right that was easy I think I'll take this um, Vembrises of accuracy because um, I don't need any of those two items Life Leech plus 10% that's very negligible um, for my current lineup. Okay, I'll take this and maybe I should go here. By the way, every time you battle or every time you finish a battle, your um, team's HP will go down by 50% of their current health, also the energy. So uh, make sure you use the fountains um, correctly. Also, um, it is very important for you to have a good healer on your team especially Rowan anyways um, I think I will have to replace Rain I'll put Lucius instead okay so the reason why you need a healer on your team is to, to prevent your team from getting wiped out also, to keep your HP above 50%. Because um, your team will be instantly killed if you um, if they run out of HP or when they get exhausted from um, continuous battles. Okay. By the way, um, the path that I'm currently taking right now is the path towards the boss. Let's see what we can get here. I think I'll I'll put that one for later. All right, I'll take the sands of time. That's nice. And uh, this helmet. I usually get the helmet most of the time because um, of its 15% damage reduction. It's better than... 15% damage, damage reduction is better than 15% um, plus 15% armor. Because uh, it lowers the damage you receive by 15% fixed for plus 15% armor it depends on your character's armor if their character uh, if their armor is low then the bonus will be not good anyways I got the plus 30% damage of um, intelligent based heroes that's good okay 
Okay. So far, no trouble. I hope that we can keep this up. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm not really worrying about that right now. Because um, I think that I can beat this stage. Because um, my Chimera and my other heroes are already overpowered for this um, peaks of time. Oops. Lucius died, so I have to retry. Ah. Rosalind died as well. Alright. Rosalind is dying. Anyways, um, I'll replace Kazos with um, Estrilda for faction bonus. Okay. They are still dying. That lineup was even worse let's see I just need um, Lucius to cast his all before anyone dies there we go I should be fine by now Lucius is also important in this um, peaks of time because um, aside from the damage mitigation of his um, barrier, um, anyone with barrier as well um, has uh, HP regeneration. So that's really cool. Anyways, uh, my Rosalind died because of exhaustion. So... <laughs> Anyways, I, I will have to find a um, uh, spring right now before we continue. I think there is one here. Yeah, there is. Oh, there's also one spring there. That's cool. Okay, let's proceed. With um, full health and energy, there shouldn't be any problem here. There we go. Right. This is nice. We've got light bearer enemies, so we deal more damage with Chimera. Alright, so this is the boss. Uh, I'm thinking of taking another spring. But I think that's not necessary. I'll put um, Rosaline in the opposite position of Athalia because um, she can escape Athalia. <laughs> Alright, that was easy. Now we get the crystal chest. And that's how you beat Athalia. <laughs> I know my heroes are all overpowered, but um, some players are asking how to finish this stage. That's why I made this video. Anyways, um, I, I'll just clear 
this um, mobs here and take all the other chests. Alright, and um, thank you for watching guys. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And enjoy the rest of the video. Peace.